Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of ground squirrel, chipmunk hunting, whatever you want to call them little things. But but anyways, we're taking this Marlin 22 out here. We're going to be shooting the CCI mini mags. And uh, yeah, it is springtime. Every other hunting season is out. But ground squirrels, they don't have a hunting season here in Kentucky. Mainly because they're everywhere you look. There's so many that I even accidentally hit one with the mule. Here's a picture of it. And I even got so bored that day that I even skinned him. Full body skin right there. A ground squirrel. I was so proud of myself. But anyways, before we get out there and shoot at any ground squirrels, I do want to make sure this thing's sighted in, still sighted in, because it has been in the safe for about two months. But then, I'm, you know, I'm just going to shoot at this little old weirdo looking jar cap thing. But anyways, we're going to get up there and we're going to shoot at that sucker. Okay, I'm just going to aim for the center of it. Nothing special, just aim right in the middle. If I can hit the middle of it, then I figure I should be able to do all right with a little bit of ground squirrel. Right now it's out there about 20, 25 yards, something like that. Probably, it's probably farther than I'll ever shoot at a ground squirrel. Now let's go see where that sucker hit. Here we go. Hit it right there on the side of it. Uh, that's pretty good, I guess. You know, that's good enough to kill a ground squirrel. Okay, guys, so now I'm heading out. Just to let y'all know, I, I am also sort of bird hunting. Songbirds are legal to shoot here, but if I see a big black bird that ain't trying to sing to me, I ain't gonna hold back from blasting him in the face. Now, if you don't know, ground squirrels are the things that make those little squeaky, like sharp, squeaky noises. And, uh, well, yeah, I hear some right up here, so I'm gonna put this camera down and put, go to the GoPro, so... I may actually get one right here because they're pretty loud today and they're going to be easy to locate. Let's try to get me one. Now that season's out, there's two squirrels sitting over there looking at me about 10 yards. I ain't even kidding. They're just right over there in those trees. Today, I've done past up five gray squirrels, but I mean, it's not season, so I can't kill them. Back whenever it was season, I couldn't buy one with a $100 bill. Here we got a little black bird right here on this power line. I'm going to take him out right here. Never mind. He flew away. I'll tell you one thing, hunting chipmunks is a whole lot harder than I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be easy because, you know, back in the fall whenever I deer hunt, I'd see them everywhere. But the difference between fall and spring is now there's a bunch of leaves everywhere. And I can hear them chirping. I can hear about where they are. There's just so much greenery, I just can't find them. So this little chipmunk hunt may just evolve into a blackbird hunt. And if I can find one, I'll tell you, I'm going to bust him. Right now, that bird that flew off, it's right over there right in front of a horse's face, and I ain't going to shoot that. See them right there? See them right there behind that horse's head? Yeah, those are the ones I'm after, but, you know, I'm not going to take that shot. That's just, you know, that doesn't even make sense. But I'll tell you one thing. If they come up here and land on this power line again, I'm going to take that shot. There sits a robin, but a robin is a songbird. Can't shoot him. Today, for me, has basically turned into, if it's not illegal to shoot, I'm going to shoot it. If I see a groundhog, I'm going to shoot it. If I see a blackbird, I'm going to shoot it. If I see a ground squirrel, I'm going to shoot it. If I see Bucky, I ain't going to shoot him. He may have won this battle, but the war's not over. But yeah, if I see something and it ain't got a season, I'm probably going to shoot it. So even if I don't kill a ground squirrel, I'm going to try to shoot something today, even if it's a Gatorade bottle. Oh, dang it, I missed him. There he is, there he is. I believe I got him there. We're going in close, close range. Be ready. Close quarters combat. You're kidding. He got away. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. There he is. Good job. Yeah, man, I killed him. Yes, yes, finally, finally, finally got him, boys, finally got him. Well, it took me long enough, didn't it? I believe uh, I've been out here uh, three and a half hours looking 
for one of these little suckers. And I'll tell you, they're the hardest things in the world to hunt. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Whenever I saw that ground squirrel, I basically gave up. I was just looking for a bird to shoot. And then out of nowhere, I saw this guy jump up and run across a rock. So I, I pulled the trigger the first time. It was a dud, guys. Then I reloaded, shot again. I actually must have missed him. Then he ran down under the rock. Then I shot him again. And then I thought he ran under the rock and was done. But I actually found him right here. But anyways, guys, here he is. It was super hard to get him. I'll tell you what, I challenge you all to go out and try to kill a few of these. I don't know how in the world I even ran one over. And guys, I'm about to show you where I hit him. If you don't want to see this, just uh, click off or close your eyes here for a second. But if you waited till now, I guess you didn't hit the X button, so here it is. I blew him wide open right there. Just uh, straight up blew a hole. Just busted his belly open. Just slapped him right there and, you know, I killed him. The last one I skinned, I don't believe I can skin this guy. You know, basically because about 30% of his hide is gone now and probably splattered all over that bank back there. But, uh, yeah, that was super hard. But, yeah, tell me in the comments if you've ever went to ground squirrel hunting, had any luck ground squirrel hunting. And if you agree with me, tell me, yeah, ground squirrel hunting's hard because that was one of the hardest hunting I've ever done, like, ever. And they're such a small target, it's hard to hit anyhow, so... Yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to sign you off right there. And come back Friday, because there's probably going to be a mail time.